The California parents now have a new tool to protect their kids from identity theft. It's a new law just signed by the governor. And it's fair to say it would not have happened without a series of reports from our very own Julie Watts. And she is here with the story. Julie. Thank you, guys. A credit freeze or security freeze is the best tool to protect from financial ID theft. It prevents anyone from running a credit check or opening a credit account in your name or under your social security number. But for years, it's only been available for adults. Now, studies show kids can be at even greater risk for ID theft because they don't yet have a credit history. Since we began reporting on this topic, Equifax agreed to voluntarily allow child credit freezes, but Experian and TransUnion still refuse unless state law requires it or the child's already a victim. So citing our coverage, Assemblyman Gatto introduced child credit freeze legislation similar to laws in a couple of dozen other states. It forces the bureaus to let California parents place a freeze before their kids are victimized. You know that if California acts, one tenth of the country's population would have this protection and we'd probably um, get a federal law on the same topic. Now, federal legislation was introduced but stalled over a year ago. Since then, millions more kids have been compromised through massive hacks. Many are hopeful the California law will encourage the bureaus to voluntarily offer child credit freezes nationwide. Now, we should note the California law was amended to address uh, certain security concerns we raised in our investigation. The bureaus commonly ask parents to mail in Social Security numbers or birth certificates to a P.O. box. That is not recommended. While the legislation doesn't prohibit that, it does encourage alternatives. We highly recommend that you request a more secure option when submitting the necessary documents for a child credit freeze. Awesome work. Good Thanks, job. guys.